Okay, people. So thanks to um yo, the good folks over at Lionsgate. I have just come back from a screening of Alice Darling. So this is the new film. Well, actually, it's the her featured directorial debut um, of Mary Nye. Okay, um, the film is written by Alana Francis. Um, it is produced by Lindsay Tapscott, Noah Siegel, Christina Pivorson, and Katie Bird Nolan. It's executive produced by Sam Tipper Hale, uh, Laurie May, Adrian Love, and Anna Kendrick. It's associate produced by Alana Francis and line produced by Coral Aiken. Music is handled by Owen Pallett and Mike McLaughlin is uh, on the cinematography. Gareth C. Scales edits the film. Alice Searby put together all the casting. Jennifer Morden, production design. Claudia Dal Orso uh, was on art dec direction. Set decoration is Lucy Larkin. Uh, Marissa Schwartz handled costume design. And Jasmine Merninsky, Jessica Panetta, and Samantha Page Ryan did all the hair and makeup. Okay, so our cast. Well, Anna Kendrick plays Alice. She's got um, her best friend, Sophie, played by Wumi Muzuku, and Tess played by Kanifit Leo Horn. Uh, her boyfriend is Simon, played by Charlie Carrick. We also have got um, Marcus, played by Mark Winnick. Um, um, hmm. There's a few, like, there's a few other people. They don't have huge roles. Like, there's people in the bar and all of that. So we will say, um, we've also got Daniel Stolfi, uh, Caroline Fay, Gordon Harper, Vivian Zarilio, uh, Mari Bab, Susan Applewaif, Ethan Mitchell, James N. Jenkinson, Lindsay Liss. Tony Elwood, Deborah Grover, Sarah Bradin, and Farah Marani. Um, also, Alina Khan. So, they're also in the film. Now, the gist, right? So, um, yeah. Alice is a woman pushed to the breaking point by her psychologically abusive boyfriend, Simon. While on vacation with two close girlfriends, Alice rediscovers the essence of herself and gains some much-needed perspective. Slowly, she starts to fray the cords of codependency that bind her, but Simon's vengeance is as inevitable as it is shattering, and once unleashed, it tests Alice's strength her courage, and the bonds of her deep-rooted friendships. I mean, that's kind of it, right? But I kind of feel that does a disservice to what the film actually is, you know? Because what we have here, it, it's not just shining the light on, you know what I mean, the, these psychological abusive relationships. Right, but also the strength of friendship and what it means to be a friend, right? Because usually we have friends and they all get on and bump all of that jazz, right? But here we see different sorts of friendship, 
you know, Sophie is just warm and open and wants to ensure everyone is taken care of. Tess, Tess is a little different, right? Because I think Tess, she can see some bullshit in Simon. And, you know, she's got her own shit, right? Her own frustrations. She's just about to turn 30. So there's some different things. So at times, there's some frosty interactions with Alice. But the big thing is, she's still Alice's friend, right? So when she sees Alice in pain... It's like the other stuff is forgotten. You know what I mean? And I think that's one of the big things. Because there's times when, you know, you might have had an argument with your friend. And then you might find out that, you know, something bad has happened. And you're like, well, fuck them. I'm not contacting them until they, they apologize. It's just like, no, 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 no. There's certain things that kind of circumvent everything. Right? Cut through. And you just be like, yo, are you okay? What do you need? I got you. Right? And that's what we see here. See, that's one of the, I think, a real shining light of the film. That it, it's showing these nuances, you know? We open up. It's one of those films that kind of opens up with the end. You know what I mean? But you don't know. And it, it, it's not a crazy thing. Right, it's not like someone standing over, a, a, you know, a, a bloody corpse, and you're just like, "Yo, what? Ah, what happened?" No, it's an innocuous kind of scene. But yeah, there's there's different kind of. Um, I guess you can look at it differently once you have seen everything that has gone down, you know. But. Yeah, this is really interesting. I really enjoyed this film. It's dark, right? It, it's not uh, just a easy watch, right? There's a lot of things that make you cringe, make you feel uncomfortable, you know? But that's not a bad thing, right? Because it's it's real, now, one of the big things as well, I think, with this film, right, these performances are tremendous. Oh, so frigging good, man. So frigging good. But I think everyone's going to have a different experience of what this is. You know what I mean? So if you've been in a abusive psychological relationship, it might not have been to this extent, right? It might have been worse. It, it, but it's probably different in, in some way, right? So not every experience is exactly the same. But I think when you watch this, you know what's happening. You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of it. It's just the, the behaviors, Right, just the reactions, the coping mechanisms. You watch it and you'd be like, oh, I I I know what she's feeling. I understand. I can sense her pain here. Right? Her fear, her her confusion. All of that just jumps out the screen at you. Right. And and it's funny because you know. We open up and then there's a scene of, uh, you know, Alice in a car and she's twirling her hair around her finger. But it looks very just, you know, just one of those little things people do. You know what I mean? Like, oh, thinking, bum, bum, bum. But as the film goes on, right, we, we see these things as what they really are, you know, and it's magnified greatly. You know what I mean? Just, oh, there's a few scenes in the toilets that are just like, oh, man. Oh, man. This is just, ooh. You know what I mean? But, yeah, we, we have just these great performances. 
great performances from everyone involved. You know, I mean, listen, he, he's not <laughs> he's not the most likable, right? Simon, not the most like. Well, he's not likable at all. But Charlie Carrick plays that role extremely well. Extremely well, people. You know, there's a bit in the bedroom where he just looks up and he has this smile, which then switches and you're just like, oh, fuck. Or when he's talking and he gets in close and he's, Alice, it's just you and me. And you're just like, Jesus Christ, man. You know, Sophie, Wumi, just phenomenal. A phenomenal, like definitely a standout in this film. The, the way she plays Sophie, it, it's, you know, because it is this person that's just warm and open. But then we have some scenes where you can see her worry, right? You can see her just frustration and then the contempt. And, oh, the way she puts it out there is, is magnificent, All right? Now, what can Tio Horn has to do with Tess? Oh, that's a difficult one. Right? Because as I said, look, it's a different sort of relationship here. You know what I mean? So there's bits where she's kind of standoffish, she's a little frosty, but then when she's just fully like, yo, I got you. You know what I mean? And she delivers all of those, all of those different performances so well so well right we have this great scene of them drunk doing karaoke well not doing they're just singing right you know hey everyone's seen a bunch of drunk girls right it's they always think they can sing oh my days it's so bad <laughs> <laughs> but they do that and you know, I think we speaking about something last week, right? There's a film and we, we had these people, I forget if it was drunk or on drugs, but it actually felt realistic. And this, this felt realistic, right? The way they sang the song and missed words and forgot lines and you know what I mean? It's just like, and I... Ba, 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 ba. I just had that, you know, what I mean, all of that shit. It, it was so good, so good. Like all the interactions felt natural, right? Felt like the kind of conversations, the kind of confrontations that we have in real life, and that—that that is the type of thing that can really just take a film down. Right, because, you know what I mean? Look, there's some things that have that Dawson's Creek effect, right? Where everyone talks exactly the same. You know what I mean? Buffy, there's all, like, there was a tone and everyone had it. You know what I mean? But that's not real life, yo. This, man, yeah, was every person had their own characteristics, their own personality, you know? And, and it was phenomenal we're just seeing the the breakdown of alice right which was oh heart-wrenching but this is as i said look we we saw that and we saw the her, like her friends kind of helping her come to the realization of what was going on because that's the thing in the synopsis it makes it sound like oh she did it all on her own no, she did it with her friends, right? Because when you're on your own, you're like, oh, I've I've done this and this is happening and bah, and I need to be better. And you need someone to go, yo, no, 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 no. You have done nothing wrong. You're not a bad person, right? Anyone that tells you that is an arsehole. 
right? And so it's, you know, I mean, you know how these things work, right? Originally, you're like, no, you don't know what you're talking about, right? But you need people to persevere and to be like, no, 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 you're good. You're good. We got you. And this, we see this and it's just, you know, it, 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 it's, as I say, it's dark. It's kind of un unnerving, but man, it, it it's powerful shit, powerful shit. But at the beginning, right, we see these scenes where you don't know what's happening, but there's these little tales, right? The way, you know, characters are standing together, right, in a hug, you know, it's little flinches and things like that, which are, oh, you know what I mean? You just see that and you're like, oh, what's happening here? It's interesting. The one thing I was, uh, the, 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 the only one thing I have to say about the film, because there are scenes around text messaging. And, you know, I heard people react to some of the texts and things like that, but man, couldn't see them. Right, got a big screen, but you know the way that the texts are being displayed. Argh, it is, it was frustrating, right? Like, you know, I get it. It's a phone, and you're thinking, oh, how do we do this? I think Sherlock did it in a very interesting way. You know, the TV, the Stephen Moffat TV series. But I think for the most part. Yeah, I mean, this is the norm, right? But it is frustrating. But that was the only thing. The rest of the film, the cinematography, like, you know, the music, everything, the tone, the, you know, the costumes felt like, yes, this character would wear that. You know what I mean? Like, everything just works. It works. And, you know, there was a Q and A afterwards, and you know she was saying how some of the reactions she's having, you know, and I do think seeing this, right? Because I think the problem with this sort of relationship is it's hard to know, right? Unless you've witnessed an interaction, or maybe you've seen some cuts, or. That you know, you've walked in on someone doing some stuff in the bathroom or something like that. It's hard to know because there's no bruises, there's no physical bruises, there's mental bruises, psychological bruises, nothing physical, right? So, I think this a film like this can show people some of the footprints, right? To what this is. You know, things maybe to look out for, you know, things someone might do or say. So I think it, it's a, it's, you know, it's a useful, powerful film in that respect. But just as a filmmaking vehicle, right? What, um, what Mary's been able to do in her feature debut is something fantastic. Right, Alana wrote a tremendous script. The cast were fantastic. Man, people, look, it's it's a darker subject, but it, it, it's a subject that I think people need to know more about. Right, you need to understand this shit. So I think there's, there's watching it on that point, but it's a fantastic film as well. So yeah, Alice, darling. Or is it Alice, darling? I'm not quite sure, because you've got a little squiggy. Is it a hyphen? I don't know. But, yeah, it might be Alice, darling. But anyway, regardless, go watch this film, because it is so good. If you enjoyed, you know what I mean? I would say if you enjoyed, like, well, if you enjoyed Kendrick in anything, you know what I mean? A simple favor up in the air, then you will like this, right? If you enjoyed Gone Girl, the book, right? I think the film was as good as the book, but even if you like the film, you will like this. You know what I mean? If, if that kind of thing is your jam, right? Single white female, that kind of, you will enjoy Alice, darling. So people, go 
take a look. It sh will be out in cinemas from Friday. So, yeah. When have I ever steered you wrong, right? Right? All right, people. Have fun.